Hello everyone. Welcome back to another English online session. Today we are going to look into the topic model axillaries. The commonly used model axillaries are will would, shall should, can could, may might, must and used to. Let's see the uses of these model axillaries. First of all we can see the uses of will. Will can be used to express willingness. Look at the examples. I will wash the dishes if you dry. We are going to the movies. Will you join us? So in these two sentences uh, it uh, says that uh, the will is used to express the willingness. It can also express intention. it can also express intention of a person especially in the first person i will do my exercise later on so uh, the person's intention he what he is going to do that can be expressed uh, using this will will also can be used to uh, do predictions sometimes specific the meeting will be over soon it's uh, to talk about a specific end then second one timeless humidity will ruin my hair do so uh, the time is not mentioned but uh, definitely it will happen the third one is habitual something repeatedly happens the river will uh, overflow its banks every spring so definitely it uh, happens so the prediction is very accurate that cases also can be said using will so again uh, willingness and um, intention and prediction can be said using will so these are the uses of the model axillary will the next one is uh, the uses of model axillary would would can also be used to express willingness the model axillary would also can be used to express willingness would you please take off your hat it can also express insistence yeah, insisting someone to do something uh, rather rare it is used rare and with a strong stress on the word would a look at the example now you would uh, ruin everything you would act that way so to insist something uh, uh, upon someone we can use would the third one is characteristic activity or uh, something repeatedly done in the past uh, that also can be said using would after work he would walk to his home in west hartford so the uh, something uh, a person who was doing repeatedly in the past can be said using would so these are the uses of the model axillary would the next one is uh, shall shall is a modal verb used to indicate future action it is most commonly used in sentences with a i or v so it is commonly used with the pronoun like i or v and is often found in suggestions so shall uh, to describe future uh, events often express inevitability or uh, predestination so these are the uh, areas shall can be used let's see some examples in the first example shall is used uh, uh, for suggestion shall i help you and uh, look at the second example i shall never forget where i came from so it's uh, uh, here the uh, modal axillary shall is used to indicate a promise in the third example uh, he shall become our next uh, king this is a predestined and uh, something definitely going to happen in that sentence also we can use uh, shall and look at the fourth sentence i am afraid uh, mr smith shall become our new uh, director here something inevitability something unavoidable 
something uh, surely happen nothing can stop it such uh, incident also can be said using shall nowadays uh, shall is only used with uh, i and uh, v especially for uh, suggestions and something like that and all the other places mostly will is used for uh, these predictions promises and uh, uh, something inevitably uh, such cases uh, will is used instead of shall now uh, let's see the uses of uh, should should for advice opinions we often use a should when offering advice and uh, opinions uh, for example you should see the new james bond movie it's great uh, you should try to lose weight john uh, should get a haircut he shouldn't smoke and he should stop drinking too uh, what should i wear they uh, should make that uh, illegal so if you check all these sentences you can find uh, the use of uh, should as as an advice or uh, uh, expression of an opinion or uh, like uh, a suggestion and uh, in that way also this should is used here especially uh, should is used to, to express uh, an opinion or give an advice now uh, let's see the uses of can uh, can is used to express ability look at the, uh, look at here the example he can speak spanish but he can write it well so here in this sentence his ability of speaking spanish is expressed here using the modal auxiliary can the second point is uh, expression or permission now look at the example can i uh, talk to my friends uh, in the library waiting room but usually uh, when you ask uh, such permissions uh, uh, may is the better word to use not everyone advising uh, for permission you, uh, using can is not advisable and uh, next point is to express theoretical possibility so something uh, the capability of uh, someone uh, to express uh, that in theoretically you can use uh, this can now look at the example american uh, automobile makers can make uh, better cars if they think there's a profit in it the next uh, model auxiliary is uh, could uh, to express an ability in the past like uh, uh, can is used in the present look at here the example i could always beat you at uh, tennis when we were kids so something he he could do in the uh, past when he was a kid next one to express past or future permission so very polite request is uh, asking permission you can use could look at the example could i bury my cat in your backyard and the third one to express present possibility we could always uh, spend the afternoon just uh, sitting uh, around talking so present possibility also uh, we can use uh, could it uh, also can be used to talk about the possibility or ability if something uh, had done uh, the possible outcome what uh, what would be the possible outcome in that situation also could uh, can be used if he studied harder he could pass the course the next one is uh, uses of may may is a modal uh, verb uh, most commonly used to uh, express possibility it can also be used to give uh, or uh, request permission although this usage is becoming less common let's see the examples Cheryl may be at home or perhaps at work. So this sentence is talking about a possibility. Uh, th there is no certainty, but possibility is there. In the second sentence, uh, Johnny, you may leave the table when you have finished your dinner. So it's like giving 
permission uh, may is used here in this sentence uh, like giving permission and the final example may i use your bathroom it's like uh, asking a request for a permission so these are the three ways may is used next one is might might is uh, a model verb most uh, commonly used to express possibility possibility in the sense less possibility than may uh, it is also used uh, uh, with uh, suggestion uh, and request look at here the examples your purse might be in the living room uh, here the example is talking about the possibility i already told you less possibility than may second one uh, use of suggestion you might visit the botanical gardens during your visit it's like giving a suggestion but uh, not popularly used and the final one might i borrow your pen this also not uh, popularly used but uh, might can be you also used uh, to a post a request the next one is uh, must must is used to express obligation give orders and give advice it can only be used for present and future reference so to express obligation let's see an example all peoples peoples here students must bring a packed lunch tomorrow so uh, giving advice or orders here like instructions we use strict instructions we use must and look at the next sentence to give orders firmly or positively you must go to sleep now so definitely or surely it should be done in such situation you can use must for giving orders uh, we can use must instead of must and the past references you can use have to finally for uh, today's class uh, used to the auxiliary verb construction used to is used to express an action that took place in the past perhaps customary which means a repeated action but now that action no longer customarily take place we used to do take long vacation trips with the whole family so something you have done customarily or repeatedly in the past but you are not doing it in the present that uh, thing can be said using the model axillary used to so in uh, today's class i have slightly touched uh, the topic model axillaries there are lot of other rules are there anyway just uh, try to frame your own examples see you in the next class bye